Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. So, in between episodes, I've been here just playing this Chomcraft. Um, yeah. But, I guess we can get a move on with our day here. Let's go ahead and sell these. Okay, so I was, a, I was there for about an hour. But, let's actually go towards what we need to, but first, um, uh, party chat. Phew, I'm finally getting the hang of this. Me too, it's starting to become a second nature. It's interesting, isn't it? Everyone has their own role, right? No no person can do it all on their own. Yeah, we all have to be on the ball or we'll end up with some pretty scruffy looking chompers. It's a real team effort, in fact. I bet it'll be great training for our adventures. Yeah, keep it up and we'll be fighting like a well-oiled, merciless killing machine. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess while we're here, let's also do a super, super quick moon update. Probably a couple of these things are done now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, didn't mean to get out of that. Let's see. We have 22 workers right now. Let's go ahead and stick uh, 10 in here. Let's go ahead and stick 10 in here. And then, um, oh, didn't mean to do that. And then what's this other thing? Let's go ahead and stick as many as we have in there. Okay, call it a day. Another party chat. Okay, we're starting off with a bunch of party chats here. You, uh, you know, I've been thinking lately with manpower limited and all, isn't it more efficient to focus all the resources into one project or split up people to construct multiple factories and facilities at once? <clears throat> it's a tough one, isn't it? After all, there's more than one way to define efficiency. There is? Think about it this way. Let's say it takes three days for one person to build up a building. Now you have three people and want to pull up three buildings. If you have each of them work on a separate building, it'll take them three days to finish the entire job. If you have them all work together to put up a building a day, their entire job will still take three days. So in other words, it doesn't really matter. Of course it matters. Think about it. If you pool your resources, you can use one facility after the first day and two after the second. If you work separately, you have to wait until the end to benefit from any of them. When you think about it that way, even if the end result is the same, working together is more efficient. What a fascinating theory. At the same time, it's not always as simple. Think about this. Let's say you want to build three buildings and each each takes one person six hours. If you assign all three to work on the same building, it'll be done in two. So that's more efficient. In theory, maybe, but let's say we're, we're, we're ready to turn in for the night. I get it. It won't be able to... We won't be able to reassign people until morning. It's better to give them each a six-hour job. Then when we wake up, all three facilities will be ready to go. If we put them all in one job, they'll finish early and be twiddling their thumbs for the rest of the night. See? Efficiency can take different forms depending on what you're trying to accomplish and when. And that concludes our lecture from Professor Ladia and an efficiency expert. Okay. Well, we already kind of knew all that because we're pretty smart ourselves. But, finally, what is it? Uh, three minutes in, we finally go into the place that we're supposed to be going into. Need water. Bah. They just keep coming! Go on! After her! Sir! He's back? What's he up to? The Jackal. Scourge of the Desert. And holder of the Thief Asterisk. Yeah, we saw him from last game. He and his band of rogues once took orders from Eternia. But went into hiding after falling to Idia and her friends. His abrasive attitude can frighten those who do not know him. But there is something more to this diamond in the rough. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Not that way, you old bat! Hey, that's enough! What do you think you're doing? I said watch out for the quicksand! Hey! You got something to say, you sh shrew? Wait, I know you. From before. Look, if you can't tell, I'm freaking busy here. Don't just stand there looking stupid. Lend a hand already. A hand? Uh, okay. It's finally quieting down. Ugh, about time. I need a break. This is way harder than thieving. Whew, you know, I thought you were at it again. Bullying innocent folk in the desert, I mean. But you're actually helping them. And making sure they reach the oasis safely. There are so many people looking for water. 
I suppose that means the situation hasn't improved, huh? It was better for a while. Water was cheap. And the little people didn't have to grovel or steal just to quench their thirst. But now, the underground river channels are running dry. We lost three oases to the sands just since the beginning of the year. Could it be something happened to the gem? The gem? Yeah, the wellspring gem. If you're from the desert, you know about it. Ask anyone, even the kids. They'll tell you it's the source of all the water out here. Of course, it's probably just a fairy tale, right? Hey, stop shoving and wait your turn! Sorry, sir. Won't happen again. Wow, you're really in charge here. <laughs> yeah, well, just call me head of desert security. A no good ruffian like myself. <laughs> Moving up in the world, huh? Someone rounded up all the street urchins and gave me and my crew some honest work to do. Hey! How many times will I have to tell you, stay out of the quicksand, you stupid brat? Sorry, boss. Alavas, what a lovely story. The Wellspring Gem. I remember learning about it in one of my folklore classes. I bet there'll be tomes and other records about it back in El Campus. I'll look into it the next time we're there. Oh, for Christ's sake, stop bawling and pull yourself together! So there we have it. The oases are drying up, water is running low, and the reason may lie with this wellspring gem. Okay, so let's go back and, I guess, research this Wellspring gem. But another party chat. The Prime Minister's plan. The Jackal has had a desert security. That's a pretty bold move. A bold move? Yeah, by the Prime Minister appointing a bandit to police the desert. It's like asking a fox to watch the chicken coop. Maybe, but I can see the logic. Who knows the other bandits and how they work better than the Jackal? Soon as they try to make a move, he'll know about it. Set a thief to catch a thief, and all that. Though it is risky, of course. Right, putting a man like that in charge of people's belongings, lives even. Ah, wait, the kids. What about them? Maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't think the Prime Minister would be that devious. You think he's holding the orphans hostage in town to keep the jackal in line? I can't say for sure, but it's definitely not out of the question. I don't know, the Prime Minister seemed like a, such an easygoing guy. When you're responsible for an entire nation, you can't afford to play nice all the time. Yeah, I know, but still, it seems so drastic. I am the Guardian of the Sands, and I am Princess Ariane of the Moon Desert. She'll never take my land from me. Good grief, are those two playing pretend? Listen, to keep this little chat to ourselves, okay? We don't want to reopen old wounds. Got it. Say farewell, wicked Princess of the Moon Desert. Okay. Back to where we're supposed to be- Well, technically it's a side mission here, but- oh, before we get back to town, so I'll go ahead and save there. Okay, so I guess. Ooh. Anything? Um, let's go ahead and go to the inn, and then we'll go to the library. We could also potentially buy a couple more magic spells. Again, I don't even have those classes, so I don't even know if it'd be worth it, but... Okay, um... See, why'd that blue pop up just after we went to bed? DeRosa? DaVinci? What's this guy doing here? Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? I didn't expect to find you here. Is nowhere safe from your menace? Now, now. Fiore de Rosa, incorrigible lady killer and holder of the Red Mage Asterisk. Former leader of the Blood Rose Legion, his crimes against woman, nation, and good taste were laid bare by Idia and her friends. Known as Old Dread, 
this lascivious lech sees his romantic conquests as little more than objects to be manipulated for his own gain. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Hey, hey, you show some respect, you hear? That's Mr. DeRosa. Huh? Mr. DeRosa? Let us find somewhere to die, shall we? And please, don't look so scary. I won't run. It's the truth, I assure you. I was borrowing the Academy's libraries and archives, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the faculty. As an adjunct professor, you're not even an alumnus. Well, it's not as if I'm some ignorant buffoon. I've already assisted a number of my colleagues. <sighs> mm. Mm, I don't believe a word of it. <sighs> One more out, Campy Noodles! Make it a large! Oh, idiot! You're getting soup everywhere! In any case, they were most impressed by my new thesis on somnial energy. Mmm, c'est bon. So creamy and rich. Cook, seconds for me too. If that's all right. But of course, food is cheap here in the students' quarter. Dine to your heart's content. Couldn't they go easy on the red pepper? So, uh, what's somnial energy? Why, none other than the ultimate energy source. We've been trying to crack its secrets for quite some time. It doesn't pollute the air like fossil fuels. And unlike crystals, there's no danger of it running out of control. In theory, at least. Uh, once refined, it emits a fixed quantity of energy. It's easy to control, and mass production is a cinch. Again, in theory. During refining, the energy is highly unstable. The slightest error could trigger a reaction powerful enough to destroy an entire city. No explanation of somnial energy is complete without mentioning that particular point. Uh, in... in theory. So... Assuming you can generate this somnial energy, what's your scheme this time? You know, of course, that nearly every war is fought over food or natural resources. But what if we could harness somnial energy? What would happen then? Imagine an everlasting source of energy, more powerful and stable than the crystals. If such a thing came to reality, why, there would be no more need for war. Mankind would know a new age of peace, one of harmony and stability undreamt of by any Templar or religious order. That sounds just peachy, but what exactly do you get out of all this? The pursuit of knowledge. My curiosity has been aroused. For over a year, I have immersed myself in my studies. The experience has changed me. I am a more thoughtful man than I once was. Um, this is skirt-chasing old Red I'm talking to, right? Do you have a fever or something? By the way, what were you two talking about earlier? It seemed awfully serious. Harnessing somnial energy isn't easy. The biggest challenge is the refining process. We need fresh water and lots of it to keep everything stable. This is a desert nation, though, and water is scarce. No doubt other realms are more fortunate, but here in our campus... Lately, I've started to lose heart. Mr. DeRosa was trying to lift my spirits. Oh, look at the time. I'll be late for the lecture on Harina folklore. Care to join me? Sure. Why not? Ah, allow me. It's my treat. I don't think so. We'll pay our own way, thank you very much. You've got it covered, right you? Huh? W why me? Anyway... Long story short, to develop this wonder energy, they need water. And lots of it. Fair enough. Let's go see where this takes us, I guess? And 
so in a very real sense, it was the wellspring gem that allowed the Harina dynasty to grow and indeed prosper. Further illustrated in the desertification of the continent and the loss of this ancient treasure, spelling the dynasties. Oh, there's the bell. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. I checked the archives and found quite a bit of information. I don't think the Wellspring Gem is just a legend. It's definitely real. Yeah, we just heard the same thing in the lecture. Good grief. Anyway, it seems we need to head to the western reaches of the desert. I'll mark the spot on the map. Marina ruins. The Prime Minister's ancestors. Go west. Okay, something about west. Telling the jackal something. Okay. That is where we go then. Yeah, like I said, I could probably buy a couple more magic spells, but you know what? We don't even have those classes. So we'll give it a little time here. We'll give it a little time. Okay, so back through the oasis we go here. What I'll even do, let me turn this encon right to zero, just for now. Just because I don't feel like fighting these sand people, they can silence me, and that can tend to get a little annoying. Now listen... If you want to be a real bandit, you gotta follow the rules. No exceptions. Right, boss. Rule number one. Don't steal from anyone weaker than you. Rule number two. Don't steal from anyone poorer than you. Rule number three. No stealing from people who are crying. Rule number four. Steal people's stuff, but not their dignity. Huh? Uh, we'll finish this later. Go on, scram! Quite the impassioned lecture. Training the next generation? Well, yeah, that's right. The desert's a, uh, a tough place. They need to learn how to survive. Well, look at you, Mr. Nice Guy. Well, shut up! What do you know? And why are you here anyway? We've been researching the Wellspring Gem in our campus, and we found out some things. You did, did you? Yes. Like, for one, it almost certainly exists. See, all these historical records specifically mention it. Right. And a lot of them mention that place to the west. You know, where you had your hideout. The something... something ruins? Do you have any clues? You're asking me? We cleaned that place out pretty good. Huh. I don't, uh... Wait... Oh yeah... Way in the back we found a tunnel that seemed to lead further in. We looked ready to collapse and we didn't see nothing good so we just blocked it off. Not worth the trouble, you know? Look around the big chair in the hideout. Thieves' den. Big chair. Got it. So we're going where we were in uh, Brave Lid Fall. Cool. You'd love to see it. Let's head in there. <clears throat> is it going to be the same? It's literally... Is it the same with the same little statues that spit out, like, the puck of sand? To make you go blind? Okay. Eye drops. We'll need those if they do still have the same traps here. Okay, so if I remember correctly... There should be a chest up here. Oh, they do still have the same thing as they go. Ch -ch -ch. Yeah. A single peak? Okay, we've been bamboozled. Okay, there's the stairs down. Okay, hold on. Let's take these stairs down real quick. So I don't think that leads in. I don't think that leads to the right place. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, let's see what this chest has for us. Oh, we're supposed to be 11 to 15. Okay, we're all 11, so we are the minimum level here. 
Okay, it looks like we'll have to go back up because... Okay, we're totally blind there. Oh. Okay, let me go ahead and use some eye drops on everyone. But also, I almost forgot to turn up the encounter right here. Because I do want to get in some battles. If we don't get into any battles, we're going to be left behind later. Ugh, now we're blind again. Um, man, we'll have to buy some more eye drops, and we'll have to be careful here. <clears throat> well, we can't get hit by another one, or we're going to be in trouble. Some remedies. Okay, I could use those remedies, but those are a 500 peak each. So... Okay, real quick, let's see what type of things are in here. Okay, do I, do I not get the XP for the first fight, though? What? That's crazy. Okay, anyway, let's go back, because I want to find... Or I want to explore the other part of that temple over there. Or the... <coughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. There's another stairway down here. Okay. See, this one is just a chest again. Okay, that could be good. Hmm. Okay, yes. That will go on him. And then on Tiz, I could put... Mm, oh, no, the Academy Gown is actually better than the Mana Robe, so... We'll go ahead and leave that off. Okay. Yes, we found it. Wow, we can go first. So we can have much light, though. Okay, let's continue on with where we were going. So it looks like they did change up the ruins here because this is a different layout. This is definitely not completely the same layout that I remember. Okay, we still got hit by that blind. Okay, is this a hat that we can equip on anyone that, that would be good? Okay. I think this would be good on just basically anyone. Okay, then not on her. Not on him. Okay, so this is specifically kind of just good for Adia here. Or Magnolia, sorry. Okay, fair enough. And I guess... Oh man, I don't... I only... Huh. Well, I don't have anything to cure that, so I guess there's not much we can do about it. Um, We'll use a remedy just on the two people that need sight. The other two I don't need sight, so we'll leave them... The way they are we just got to make sure not to get hit by another one here if we get hit by another one we're screwed we got to do that and then once that's over we can run past here okay silver glasses Ooh, i wonder if we'll get hit by that so eat they have of course it hit me right there of course it hit me well let's just um for now let's turn this down until i can get to the safe guy so i can buy some more from him or something but right now that is oh a blue chest okay we can't unlock that not yet, at least. Oh. Yep, yep. Yes! This is exactly what I needed. <sighs> what is it, you? Uh, it's just... Uh, Professor DeRosa and the Jackal. I could swear that I've met them before. I just can't remember when or where. Are you sure? Both of them? Maybe you ran into them when you were studying at our campus. I don't know about that. Jackal was busy causing trouble here. And you graduated long before DeRosa joined the faculty. Right, right. It's just so strange. Men of such noble spirit should have made a strong impression on me. So why can't I recall them more clearly? Noble spirit, eh? Well, yes. The Jackal selflessly helps the people of the desert, protecting them from peril. 
while DeRosa devotes his life to seeking a new energy source that will bring lasting peace and prosperity. I mean, what could be more noble than that? You're right, but they did seem a bit rough around the edges. Yeah, and there's a good reason for that. Jackal may be head of desert security now, but back in the day he was the leader of a notorious bandit gang. He attacked innocent people who came to the Oasis for water and stripped them of all their money. What? A bandit leader? But he's barely older than me. I know, right? But he lived on the streets and had to grow up fast. What about the guy in red? What's his story? He was even worse! He manipulated the hearts of women to bring down an entire country. I still can't believe that conniving old lech is trying to solve Lux and Dark's energy crisis. Yeah, I know that people can change, but I have a hard time buying the new versions of those two. Mais je suis impressionné. You have such interesting friends. But I'm worried there's going to be trouble if they're both seeking the same relic. Yeah, especially after what you just told us. It reminds me of the hooligans who used to lurk in the back alleys of El Campus. <laughs> yeah, those two definitely fit the bill. Right, just like the crooks I used to chase down in the back alleys of Eternia. You? Did those hooligans in El Campus ever hurt you? Yes, but I always got them back. Or, well, Jan did. Okay, I wonder if that's going to be the future scenario where we basically have to pick which one gets it and fight the other. Okay, is there anything around here that I can steal? No. It looks like we're all healed up, which is nice. Okay, 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 okay. So this is the chair, right? There must be a button or switch or... <clears throat> something. Uh... Idia, are you sure it's smart to yank on it like that? It could be a trap. What about this sword? Ah! It moved! Look! Steps! See? As soon as I saw it, I thought, I bet it's a sword! <laughs> anyway, shall we go? That looked really funny. That just didn't look right. Okay, where are the steps at? Oh, I literally have to enter through the chair. Okay, fair enough. Forgotten halls. Okay, let's go ahead and um, put the encounter rate back up because now we won't get blinded. So that's cool. As long as I don't get blinded, I don't care. But I just don't like getting blinded here. Balsam? Okay. We didn't even use that at all last game. Maybe we'll try to use it this game? Who knows? It just seemed like using specific items was just so much easier in that time, you know? Okay, let's keep doing the same thing. Yeah, let's keep doing the exact same thing. And we should be good here. Okay. Keep moving on here. Okay, 250 peak. Not too bad. Any peak is worth my time, in my opinion, as long as it's not like two. Another chest. Let's go forth and get that one. Oh, these things are big. These. I need magic against these ones that does a little bit of damage we really we need the frost there we go learned weapon toss okay let's see star pendant oh i guess we haven't we haven't looked at their abilities in a while here okay nothing new it's nothing new oh let's put that there for sure Nothing new other than that, and then here, nothing new. Okay. Fair enough. Let's keep moving. 
Nothing in that corner. Looks like there's probably a chest up this way. But I'm for sure going to grab first of all. Earth drum? Okay. Never use those. Let's go this... Or what is this way? Okay, so this way is just this. Okay, that teleport stone will help us get out of here if we need to, but... Let's go this way. Ooh, and there's a safe point there. Okay, the magic will become useful here again. These physical attacks aren't going to do much. Yup, there we go. Bah, that hurt a lot, actually. Okay. Okay, let's go this way. Take this, probably take a couple more fights, and then we'll heal. Just because I'm too lazy to open up my menu right now. Phoenix down? Okay. That can be pretty useful. Alright, let's go down this way. Um, okay, I don't care about that. We could rest in a cottage. A hundred pig! Uh, you know what, I'd rather at that point just use some magic, use Tiz's magic here, heal. Yeah, we're just good like that. Okay, we don't need to do any of that nonsense there. Save the game. Okay. And yeah, let's keep moving here. Okay. Let's see, there's an... Ooh. Is that the stone we're looking for? So this is the wellspring gem. If we put it back on the dais... What do you know? So that's what happened. Oh, the jackal. I see. If we put the Wellspring Gym back in its place on the dais, that should do it. It'll start producing water again, filling this chamber, then flowing through the underground channels. Yes. The oases will grow green again, and the wells of Ansheim will be replenished. Who's there? Eureka! The Wellspring Gem. The key to producing safe, stable Somnial energy. So it was worth it after all, to brave the desert sands and follow you to these ruins. Now, if you'd kindly hand over the gem. Give you the gem? Are you out of your mind, you red bozo? Don't you get it? The oases are dying. We gotta put the Wellspring Gem back on its dais. We need do no such thing. I believe I've already explained matters to the Grand Marshal's daughter and her friends, have I not? No one's explained nothing to me! What the heck is going on? I fear the details would be beyond your comprehension. Now, run along, won't you? After you give up the gem, of course. Don't you get it? The people need water! And soon! Hmm. Very well, then. How about this? Let's have the desert dwellers move. To Florum, for example. There's more than enough water there. What? That's impossible! Impossible? I think not, my friend. With Somnial energy, everything is possible. Once we've harnessed it, people across the land will have access to riches and resources beyond anything imagined. You and your desert friends could live in the finest mansions in Florum, or anywhere you desire. It would be no exaggeration to say that all the problems of this nation would be solved in one fell swoop. Of course, there is the chance we might blow up an entire city. No risk, no reward, as they say. Are you flipping nuts? You're gonna gamble our water on something that dangerous? Why have we gotta suffer for your cockamamie scheme? For the future of Luxendark, and the future of all mankind. What if someone were to make a weapon out of this energy? Something that could kill us all? <laughs> an astute question, from an astute pupil. Worry not, I have already considered that very point. To that end, I would share the knowledge with everyone in the entire world. 
that no nation would dare turn the power against another. Take the arms race. A quarrel between neighbors, a war between nations. They are much yes, the same. That didn't work out for the, the world. Harm is always done when one side is much stronger than the other. Because now when we just have balance of power is preserved, however. No now we have billions of dollars in nuclear strike. warheads and Some people are still dying of the poverty, of so our dreams will usher us into a new era of peace everlasting. Where'd you come up with that baloney? Wait a minute. You're that yutz the chairman was talking about. Like heck if I'm gonna hand the gem over to some decrepit con artist. It stays here in the desert, where it belongs. No, the Wellspring gem belongs to all humankind. I'll not see it wasted on sand for brains wretches clinging to a life they should have abandoned long ago. Hey, you lot! Don't just stand there. Tell this madman what the deal is. We came here to bring water back to the people who need it most. Right? Come on, tell him! Idia, as daughter of the Grand Marshal, I know you will not be swayed by crude emotion. You understand that I do what I do for the future of this world. Join me and we will silence the Jackal. Oh, you want a piece of me, old man? Why, you insolent little... Okay, uh... What should we do? We have to help the desert folk, right? We can't just let them die of thirst. And yet, this red fellow has a point as well. I know. He's trying to help people too. And what he's saying makes a lot of sense. My master once taught me something similar. He said... Conflict is sooner halted by the sight of a bloody sword at your side. Hmm. Do we protect the desert oases and fight Red Mage DeRosa? Or do we fight the bandit jackal in hopes of harnessing somnial energy? Our choices are clear, but which is the right one? I am going to pick fighting the Red Mage because Although I actually kind of agree more with this point, I just kind of want his asterisk more. But I also do agree that you are going to let a bunch of people die for the chance at Somnial Energy working and creating uh, basically a recreation of the Cold War. Eh, I think just for... The, because of the asterisk, and although I think the Red Mage is over more right in the sense that I think the greater good should always take precedence because if nothing was ever sacrificed nothing would ever go anywhere so I think the red mage is right in the end I think for the good of humanity his he's right but I want his asterisk what's this you dare to stand in the way of progress That will not receive the thief. Okay, I'll up to level four, handle bolt in early with uh um yes. Okay, yes, I wanna get the red mage. I just don't think For the thief will be useful. Sake, girl. You're as stubborn and there's gonna be items that do what the thief does anyway. But if it's a battle you wish. Let's show them a good time. Okay, we fight him then. And here I was doing honest work for a change. Oh well, it's been a while since I could let my hair down. Please don't mistake the Red Professor for some fusty old academic. The former captain of the Blood Rose Legion is as virile as ever. Okay. Red Mage Fiore de Rosa will take you down. For science! Which I kind of agree with. But I want your asterisk. So, instead, let's do hack and slash under Rosa. And then, um, I guess let's just, tra let's just trample the Rosa here. Same thing with the deal. Let's just, ooh, weapon toss. Well, let's do that last. Let's just do some tramples under Rosa. And then with Tiz, ooh, no, we'll, we'll save that rejuvenation. 
Oh, and we have a special here too. Piercing Bolt. Okay. And let's go ahead and do some... I don't know what these guys are weak against. Fire, so maybe Frost. Mist. Let's do a Mist. And then do a Frost. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, Love Tap. Okay, those aren't bad. Ooh, good crit there. So he still has that same thing where he gets DP by getting hit. Okay. Now his P defense is a little lower. I wish that the little bit of the order would have been a tiny bit different there, but it's not that big of a deal, honestly. I do the piercing arrow. Ooh, hit him for 600 for the gravy. Indeed, for the gravy. Okay, we'll do the mist a little bit. I think that'll hurt him. Okay. Uh, let's just default again. I want to do the rejuvenation, but... Okay, Shining does not hurt me at all. I want to save... Okay, now we'll do the Rejuvenation, because now we're a little low on health here. Let's go ahead and do the Rejuvenation, and call it a day here. Okay, I need I need the Rejuvenation to happen before someone dies. Why couldn't that happen right before? Just like a second before, huh? Come on, Tiz. Okay, well, let's go ahead and use a Phoenix down on Magnolia. Get her back up. Hopefully it doesn't do anything crazy for a little while. Okay, let's go ahead and... Um, I guess let's default here. And then let's just use a potion on Magnolia and default again. Just give it a few turns here. Ooh, a charm. That's not cool. That's alright, he can't do anything crazy anyway. Okay, let's do some more tramples on DeRosa here. Okay. Let's do some more... Okay, we only got four. Let's do some more tramples under Rosa. Okay, we can do a quick heal on everyone. Okay, and then I think Yu is still out of his mind for a little while here. Okay, it doesn't do as much damage because she's hurt now, which is a little annoying, but it's alright. Rosara, okay, please get... Oh, don't kill a D oh, Magnolia. Okay, that kills Magnolia. Again, right before the heal, which is slightly annoying. But he's out of the way. So hard to imagine a better future. You know, he's got to take care of these two. But I want to get Magnolia up because I don't want her to not get that XP here. Ouch! Yeah, they actually hit kind of hard, which is fairly annoying. Okay, and let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to be using all of our Phoenix Downs just to get them up so they can get it. Actually, let's default again. I want to make sure we do not they're not dead. Did, did one of them just hit the other apprentice? I don't know if I, what I saw was correct there, but... Okay, let's go ahead and hit them with Frost and just cast as is. Okay. And that this should take care of them. Yeah, they're literally hitting each other. Why are you hitting each other? Hey, come on, just die for me, please. Okay, or, okay, let's just do some normal attacks then. Default. And do the same thing. Woo! Why? I'm just so confused on why one's hitting the other. Are they, like, mad at each other or something? Okay, a little bit of XP, a little bit of JP. We love to see it. Okay, and we got the red mage asterisk. And I'm definitely going to change one of my guys to it. Yeah, now i got to decide who. But one of them's... I, I think I'm probably end up going to be putting... Probably Tiz on it, honestly. Look, the water's practically gushing out of the ground! Truly, this oasis is our spring of life. Where did the jackal run off to anyway? The old man, uh, the boss, uh, the commander is out on a job. A nasty bandit gang showed up in the desert, so he's teaching them a lesson or two. Uh, right. Thanks. Hmm? The boss said if that true and her clowns drop by, give them a glass of cold water and tell them thanks. Uh, oh, did he? 
see. Oh, well, whatever. Now that's refreshing. Come on, everyone. Bottoms up. Cool. Alright, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode once we're oh, seeing this. It's you. That's one big bowl of soup. Let me guess. They shut down your somnial energy research? Mr. DeRosa went in search of the Wellspring gem, but he never came back. For every five years our research is delayed, the world suffers a decade of sorrows. Wealth disparity between nations ever growing, the people facing war and starvation, and I can't do anything. I'm helpless. Listen, there's something I need to tell you. It was us who chased off DeRosa. You, you were working for the future of mankind. You wanted to bring lasting peace to the world. It moved me a great deal, you know, when you spoke of your hopes and ideals. But the people in the desert needed that water. I couldn't turn my back on them. I chose to help people in the here and now, rather than gamble on a future that's still just a dream. Huh. I couldn't let him have the Wellspring Gem. I'm sorry. I just couldn't. I, uh, I'm... It's also another good point. Anyway. You I'm could do it without that gem. Energy. I don't know how yet, but I'll figure it out somehow. Then I can help everyone, the desert people included. Yeah. <sighs> DeRosa didn't need that gem. I will. Yeah. So, this way, we save the desert people, and we can figure it out. But the other way around, people would die, and we're not guaranteed. So, I think, 100%. That was the right decision. Alright, but I gotta go to the bathroom. And I gotta go. Guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like a comment as well as the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.